Okay, hello everyone. All right, so the next program is a stock commission program. So, okay, so someone, Catherine bought 600 shares of stock at a price of $21.77 um, per share. So each, each share is 21.77 and there are 600 shares. Now she must pay her stockbroker a 2% commission for the transaction. So write a program that calculates and displays the following. First, it's going to be the amount paid for the stock alone without the commission. So if each is 21.77, then 600 of them will be 21 times 600. So that's going to be the amount of amount paid for the stock alone. Now the amount of commission is going to be 2% of the total. After, after you've figured out the, the, the amount paid for the stock, we, can, we are going to find 2% of it it's the commission, 2% of the total, and that's what's going to be given to her stockbroker. And after we are done, we display the total amount paid for the stock plus the commission. So we're going to add what she paid for the stock, 2% of that, and that's going to be the total amount paid. Okay, so I'll go ahead and I'll create a class. Oops, what did I do? Okay, so public class, stock commission, and the main method. Okay, so it's always some variables. Okay, so first, 600 shares of stock at a price of 21.77 per share. She must pay her stock. Book. Okay, so we are not going to receive any kind of input. We have all the values here. So first, we need to calculate the amount paid for the stock alone. And the amount paid for the stock alone is, so let me first declare the variable, double, um, Total, no, let's just do amount pay, um, stock, stock total. Okay. So stock total is going to be, if tw if if one, um, one share is at a price of 21.77, then six of them is going to be 21.77 times 600. Now we can store these in variables and use them, but for now, I'm just going to leave them like this. 21.77 times 600, and that's going to be stored in stock total. The commission is going to be 2% of the transaction. So 2% is 2 divided by 100. And when you punch in 2 divided by 100 in your calculator, you get 0 0.02. So it's the same thing. 0 0.02 is 2%. So 0 0.02 off, you can read the mul multiplication sign as off the stock total. And that's what's going to be paid to her stockbroker. So that's going to be double st stock commission. We need to store that in stock commission. And that's what's going to be stored in stock commission. So now we have... Um, what, stock, what the stock total, the stock commission. Now we need to find the total. And the total is going to be how much you pay for the stock, stock total, and the commission, plus the commission, and how much you paid for commission. So another variable, double stock, um, sorry, total amount. It's going to be equal to stock. Just add them together, stock total plus stock commission and all we have to do now is just display them we have all this all, all three just display them so write the program that calculates and displays the following we've done the calculation now we're going to display details system that out you can use you know, as a matter of fact let's just use j option pane or yeah let's just use j option pane 
to do that, we need to import the Egyptian pain class and tell the program where, where, um, where, it, where it is so the program can have access to everything in the class. So javax.swing.j option pain. J capital, O capital, P capital. Okay, so display details, we are going to use the J option panes show message dialog to display it. So it's going to be J option pane. My typing is not the best, I'm sorry. J option pane dot show message dialog and say Ca ca um, let's say Catherine Catherine paid and it's this hmm. <laughs> Catherine paid stock total oops I did a mistake here concatenate it with stock total for The sh um, for the shares, you know, you know, pretty much it makes it makes sense, and we can just put them together. So we're going to make it look presentable here. She paid two percent of that is going to be a stock commission. She paid. Stock commission to her. I need to break this, so I'm going to concatenate it and break it. You can do that. I'm going to concatenate it with another text to her stock broker. And say paying a total of, and that's going to be the total amount. Total amount. Okay, so anytime you use a J option pane, you have to terminate the thread that's started by the J option pane. So system dot exit, and I'm going to pass a zero. Again, the zero is um. Ignored. I'm saying again because um, I, I mentioned this in one of the past videos. Um, the zero is mostly ignored, but you can accept the zero outside the program, test on the zero to see if, if indeed a zero was received, and that's an indication that um, the program ran successfully. If the program manages to reach this, reach this line, it's going to you can receive this zero outside, and if it's a zero, that, that, that's an indication that the program runs successfully. So system.exit again ends the thread that's caused or that's started by the Egyptian pain. And if you don't exit um, terminate it, the, um, it's going to keep running even if the program reaches the end of main here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and compile this, create a new folder for, for this in the folder where I'm keeping all the programs. Stock commission. And I'll save it here. Okay, so we have an error. Okay, let's see. Method show message dialog. It's a problem with that. Let's see. J option pane that show message dialog. What's wrong with it? Okay, so I think show message dialog takes two um, arguments. The first argument is no. The comma and the second argument is the message. Now, again, um, I said this in, in the previous program that now is used with programs that are, that use multiple, um, you know, dialog boxes uh, on the screen. But for now, we're going to always put now, and what now is going to do is it's going to center the dialog box on the screen. Okay, so now is going to center the dialog box on the screen, and the, your second argument is going to be the message, basically this this message. 
Okay, so let me compile it and see if that that's that that was what the problem was. I mean that that was what the problem and that was the, pro uh, the problem. Sorry. Okay, so yeah, so that was it. Okay, so I'll run it and let's see if it works. It's loading it up. So loading up the Jefferson pane. Okay, so Catherine paid one three zero point zero zero six two point zero for the share. She paid two hundred and sixty one point um which is which so we, this is going to be thirteen thousand um and sixty two dollars so she paid two hundred and sixty one dollars twenty four cents to her stockbroker paying a total of one hundred and thirty three so sorry thirteen thousand three hundred and twenty three point twenty four um these values are actually not you know um presented well because we are not using any methods to convert them to real uh, dollar values but in future chapters um there are methods that can actually do that but for now, we're going to leave leave it the way they are because that's what Chapter Two, you know, teaches so far. So I'm going to leave it the way it is. So yeah, so that that was the problem with the Jefferson pain. It, it takes two arguments. The first one is null, which sent us the dialog box on, um, on the screen, and the second one is the um is the is the message that you want to display. Okay, so you can go ahead and add dollar signs in front of this to make it more presentable for now because that's what um, chapter 2 has so far let's see total of that and in future chapters as as and when they introduce the methods we will add it to our programs when we create them so I'm going to compile it one more time just to just to, you know just for us to look at at it now so I'm going to put a th yeah, so it's going to be Catherine paid thirteen thousand, uh, roughly around that time, uh, roughly around that price. She paid two hundred sixty-one dollars to a stockbroker, paying a total of thirteen thousand three hundred twenty-three dollars twenty-four cents. Okay, so this program works, and yeah, if you have any questions, please post them down below, and I'll do my best to answer them. All right, thank you very much. Have a good day. Take care. Bye bye.